Frank Piasecki's competition for the heavy freight market may come from a young design group in Ottawa, Canada. Space community doesn't know what to make of it on the first go. They just don't know what to make of it. It looks unbelievable. How can it fly? It's like the twilight zone. raised four and a half million dollars to test the concept of a very unorthodox airship. This is the 20-foot model of what Ferguson thinks is the proper shape for a helium-filled, lighter-than-air vehicle. Full-scale prototype, the sphere will be 180 feet in diameter. We have a sphere because it's the best container for the helium. It's a, it's a superb pressure container, and it's a lifting body to the craft. It has the controllability of a, of a uh, helicopter. It has the ability to truly hover, uh, and its ability to turn is a great deal more sensitive, and, and uh, it's a great deal more tremendous than a helicopter. Uh, what makes round fly is the fact that something that's round has to turn or take advantage of a special effect called the Magnus Effect. The Magnus Effect is what gives golf balls and baseballs their tremendous lift. In fact, they become so aerodynamically alive that they cruise while in flight. Here's what happens. Push a sphere through the air, and the airflow forms whirls and eddies, creating tremendous drag. Spin the sphere as it moves through the air in the same direction as its forward motion, and the airflow smooths out, thereby reducing drag and creating lift. Rough on the surface, and the lift may be increased even more. The spherical shape is a proven design. It's just not proven in aircraft. Um, and that's what we're setting out to prove. We're not only proving a lighter than the aircraft, we're proving a, a different form of aerodynamics. Well, if we're right, and the sphere can fly like a wing, and can control itself like the controls that apply to a helicopter, believe you me, this craft is just the beginning to a whole new era and a whole new uh, configuration that may lead all kinds of directions in the aerospace community. Well, that's our report on the possible lighter-than-air technology of the future. No one can predict, of course, exactly if or when these modern airships might be available commercially. But if I still have this office five to ten years from now, it's just possible I'll be able to look out my window and see a lot more than just the Goodyear blimp fly by. Flying low and slow, flying high and fast, next on Universe.